Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a go for Nelongo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So I think if you have something for us to react to drop the link in the comment section be below and we'll be more than glad to do it so, so in today's video i'm going to be reacting to the prophet how the prophet muhammad treated black africans um seems interesting and the title is quite um suggesting so i'm really eager to see what this is about and i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed and a big shout out to the person that suggested this so without wasting time let's get into the video The Prophet ﷺ taught us to respect different cultures. And I want to give you the example of the sons of Arfida, Banu Arfida. And these are hadith in Bukhari and Muslim and other sources. But uh, Banu Arfida is a very beautiful way of saying Ethiopians. So these were Ethiopians, and they were Ethiopians who had become Muslims in the wake of the first hijra, which as you know was to Ethiopia, to Abyssinia. And then when Ja'far al-Tayyar came to Medina, they came with him. And they loved the Prophet. And they loved Islam, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they loved Islam. And after fasting a glorious month of Ramadan, can you imagine what that would have been like? Fasting with the Prophet in his mosque? Then when Eid came, they could not contain themselves. So they got out their drums, and they got out their swords, and they got out their spears. And in the mosque, they began to dance and sing and beat their drums and do spear dances and sword dances. And the Prophet ﷺ intervened, and he said, Play your games, O sons of Arafida. He called them that. A, a title of respect. In one transmission, he says, play your games so that the Jews and Christians know that there is ampleness in our religion. So they continued to dance in the mosque. And he brought our beloved mother, Aisha, and put her on his shoulders so that she could watch. And she watched and watched until she was so tired. And then he let her go. She went back. So this is very important, isn't it? You don't have to have a commentary. But one of the things it means is that Africans will remain Africans. Because they become Muslims does not mean they have to become Arabs. They will be respected as Africans, and their culture will be respected. And again, this is the way that we would be as we went through the world. I really love um, this video and the message that was at the beginning of the, the video. I it was written from two like the first one was no Muslim is better than an African or the other way around, and the other one was was no white persons or people are better than black people. I wish they also added no black people is better than this or that. But anyway, the point was made this is one thing that we should learn in life let's not think like we're better than anyone else we're all alike in so many ways than we want to believe or accept and then when it comes to the message i think i feel like and i think i feel like i reacted to this part of the video but in a longer version i don't know what i was reacting to so yeah plus someone suggested it so i went on to react to it i didn't know what it would be about so that this is why i'm reacting to it for someone who's going to say oh but you've reacted to this so yeah thank you for the suggestions really appreciate them let's be kind to one another we don't even know what people may be going through sometimes i see people in the comments arguing why do you want to argue with someone you don't know that person could be a child so even if they say something mean don't respond to them but if you respond to them, respond with kindness. People don't like you being kind even when they disrespect you. But I'm not saying be rude to people, no. Be kind. Kindness will take you very, very far. Otherwise, thank you for this video. And I hope we all learn something from this. Although it didn't 
um, cover much of the black people and how Muhammad interacted with them. It just shows that there's things that you don't have to forget when you follow the religion of Islam. Africans are rich in um, maybe drum playing, cultural stuff that you don't want to let go of because like religion shouldn't forget some of the cultural things that are deemed to be okay and not bad for your religion i guess so yeah let me know what you think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video